Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at those of you with significant placements in your birth chart who are males with Leo placements. Okay, so it could be significant placements of Leo in your birth chart, but it's for the males. So yes, you all have pulled my energy again for me to do a reading for you when I requested to know who should I do a reading for and... <laughs> I literally was like, listen, I'm not about to do this reading for Leo because no, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't say that, but I'm just like, okay, like <laughs> here we go again, Leo. Boom. All right. So before we get into that, I just want to invite you all to book a personal session with me. You can go to my website, www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find a link for your convenience below this video. And then for those of you who would like to follow me on my social media accounts, you can find those accounts below this video um, as well. And let's go ahead and get into the reading. So those of you with significant placements of Leo who are males, we're going to be taking a look at some messages for you all. Like I said, um, your energy came through wanting a message and... I kind of was surprised but then I kind of wasn't because y'all really been just like strongly pulling for me to do readings for you all but okay before we get into it I, I just want to let y'all know I'm not using tarot cards so I'm just more so like channeling messages for y'all and um <laughs> I do just want to say though I did pull cards just to see who was requesting these readings so i'ma just tap into that real quick and then i'ma just get into the messages that i have for y'all so leo i was like shuffling to see like okay so who's requesting this reading because I'm, I'm wanting to know like is it even is it even y'all because i could just be like hyping y'all up and thinking or hyping myself up thinking like that y'all really rock with me and it could it may not even be y'all but it is y'all so it's the males um energy for one y'all was pulling on me and before i even like turned the cards over i heard baby mamas <laughs> and then the cards confirmed it so for some of y'all it's y'all males who keep you know requesting or you know putting the intention out there or whatever for me to do the readings for you all but then some of y'all it's y'all baby mamas and then i got the message some of y'all got seven baby mamas so it could be one or all seven of y'all baby mamas but um yeah i'm getting baby mama so some of y'all baby mamas and i'm only calling it baby mamas but the mother of your children because that's the message that came through it said baby mamas but the mother of your children are requesting or putting intentions out there as well too um to have this reading done so they can know what's going on in your life because obviously it, it, it feels like some of y'all are not talking to them you're not you're in no contact or no communication or they don't have access to you so it's your baby mother uh, the mother of your children that is requesting this for some of you as well too um i mean it could just be other people as well too but the message came through for you know baby mamas so boom that was that and then that was confirmed and then also it could be like i'm getting for some of y'all maybe it's y'all mother okay <laughs> and in this instance it feels like a skeptical energy like this mom is like mm, let me see what she got to say <laughs> so i don't know if some of y'all putting y'all moms onto me like mm, like check this person out and i don't know for whatever reason but yeah i was getting a mother energy so some of y'all got y'all moms watching and she feel very skeptical that's all i'm gonna say about mom hi mom and then for others of y'all y'all feel skeptical as well too so i'm trying to figure out why y'all skeptical but y'all requested for me to do readings like is that not weird like how are you gonna be skeptical but then requesting for me to, to do a reading on y'all okay anyways so that's all that on the cards 
now getting into the messages for y'all i do want to say um as i was about to go to record this message for you all i got like a nervous feeling that came over me but it's like not a bad nervous where it's like bubble guts like you got to go to the bathroom because you're like scared type of nervous but like (laughs) it's like a good nervous where it's just like like anticipation like nervous sighted You know what I'm saying? Like you're nervous and excited at the same time. So it's like, it feels like a good anticipation for something that you all are um, looking forward to. Let's just put it like that. So that came over me all of a sudden and kind of just took over my like energy for a little bit. Um, But it felt, it it felt good because it kind of felt like giddy type of energy. Okay. So anyways besides that so getting into the messages that i have for you all so i feel like like currently um some of you may be feeling like your love life feels a little bit boring right now okay um some of you may be finding short-term like passion like hanging with friends or communicating with friends um also like going on social media like you could you know find a little bit of passion in your life right now through going on social media I'm, I'm getting like social media might be like the highlight of your day <laughs> as of right now um, I also was picking up that some of you might have a crush on a friend of yours or someone who you follow on Instagram okay and then just some other mm, energies that I was picking up that you're feeling um, is just like directionless aimless unmotivated uninspired some of you could be questioning like what is your purpose right now some of you could be just just feeling like conflict um type of energy and then i also was picking up that some of you may feel like you desire more freedom um when it comes to like your life in general but more specifically for some of you it could be like you desire more freedom and your career is like stifling the sense of freedom that you may be desiring at this time okay so that's that like your current sentiments what i was picking up now it feels like over the next month like things are going to pick up for you so for those of you where you are kind of feeling like like things aren't moving it's kind of stagnant things are kind of boring right now i feel like things will like mm, pick up okay (laughs) so i feel like for some of you um first things first there could be results relating to previous already known health matters that um you may be getting that information back and this this could also be like a situation where whatever these health matter matters are they have been also like negatively impacting your career so it may have been a situation maybe where you haven't been able to work um due to what these health issues are or maybe it's caused some type of um negative impact pertaining to you and your work so for some of you it's it's just completely like you're not able to work due to this and for others of you it's just caused some other type of like effect on your work um because of this so this could even just be the fact of you just not you know your performance hasn't been um up to par just due to the fact that you know there has been um results that you are waiting or other health ailments that you know um, you need to get information about that you haven't re- received so it, it could have been for some of you in some instances like just impacting the way that you perform at work okay or just any other things that may be some type of um, effect from these results but I feel like you're going to get them back and this is only for those of you where you already have some type of previous related health issue so that's who I'm talking to Um, or that's who that message pertains to so only if you know that you've already had some previous type of health related matter now for um, moving forward I'm also seeing that there's strong nostalgic sentiments about people you used to kick it with and have a great time laugh with have fun with um so you could just be feeling a little bit more reminiscent and nostalgic Um, and just going back over like memories and whatnot I wasn't really strongly picking up that like you're gonna 
necessarily do anything to resolve these connections i just more so i'm hearing bittersweet now so it's almost like maybe like connections that you no longer have with individuals maybe for some of you this could be individuals who are deceased or who are passed away so you, you wouldn't necessarily have the opportunity to reconnect with these individuals in this lifetime but then for others of you as well too it could just be people who like you know you, you either fell out with or people where you just kind of went you know you kind of grew apart went separate ways or just lost contact with okay so i just see a very strong like reminiscent energy around you um next i was picking up the message that an ex who has very strong either sag or cancer placements or maybe they have both um placements in their birth chart maybe coming back like crying to you as a way to rebound with you and it's so interesting because like when I heard rebound, like I literally could not like connect. I'm like, what is a rebound? Like <laughs> I literally had a moment, like a little, mm, cause I'm just like, what is a rebound? I don't know. Anyways, that's just a side note. But yeah, so they may be wanting to come back to rebound with you. And I was picking up that it will be short lived. If you, if for those of you who choose to entertain this individual, it will be like a short lived type of spark or flame or whatever you want to call it with this individual. And I was also getting the message that this can be a clever way for this ex to boost their career, their status, or their image. Okay. Um, also, I was getting. Um, this person is going to get back together with whoever they are temporarily split up from so that's why I was getting the energy of whatever you do this little rendezvous if for those of you who choose to do it it's going to be short-lived and then there's also the fact that for some of you this ex may have an STD okay so you might want to just keep that into consideration and make sure that you're just being safe okay and using safe protective measures okay because we gonna promote safety over here all right and then moving forward i also was picking up an energy of there also could be someone new that some of you are getting to know around this time okay so i feel like this new person um, may open you up to like new experiences new ideas new adventures it's just newness around this individual and I feel like it's just like the perfect type of energy and synergy and chemistry that you have with this person that you need especially because like I said um, over the next month things will be picking up for you and maybe at the current moment you may just kind of be feeling like things are just kind of blah so I feel like this person will be complimentary I feel like after a few interactions with this individual, um, you may want to like fast track the connection and solidify this connection with the title between you and this person. Um, and I feel like this person is going to feel like home to you. So it's going to bring about a sense of you feeling safe and secure with this individual. Okay. Um, I also feel like this person may remind you of someone or you may feel feelings that you haven't felt for someone in a long time. Um, so I feel like it's very positive as far as like your perspective on this new individual. Um, for some of you, you may not get to see each other as often as you like. Um, so there may be like, you know, some some type of, um, I, I want to call them uh, outings <laughs> that you and this individual may have but it, it may not be as often as you want because I feel like it could be work okay either you and your work or them and their work or maybe both of y'all okay but it also could be just due to long distance so that may be why it, it may be like not as often with the two of you getting together and going out and hanging out with each other and then for others of you I feel like you're not necessarily going to physically um come into contact with this person just yet i feel like it's just going to be more so like you doing a lot of um getting to know each other just via like communication methods so over the phone through text messages um social media just other methods like that but not in person is what i'm getting for some of 
some of some of you in other situations now i also feel like i was picking up that some of you may have significant cancer placements okay um and if not cancer placements, it may just be like water placements, but I definitely feel like I was getting a cancer energy around some of you. So you could have cancer placements or just water placements, but I feel like um, some of you have some type of similarities to a past individual that this new person that you're getting to know has dealt with previously. So this may kind of bring up some type of triggers in this individual and you may sense like resistant energy from this person and they may be a little bit more hesitant or resistant to like your pace of movement of how you're trying to move things along so i just want you to keep this in mind and be patient with this individual and not take it personal um because you know first of all it's you're just getting to know someone but also because it's just kind to be considered to someone especially because you know this information i also feel like there's some type of um astrological placements between your chart and and this other individual's chart that could like be bringing up this resistant type of energy as well too so not only is it like personal experiences that this person has dealt with where it's kind of like you're triggering something in someone that may be potentially like unresolved issues or sentiments that someone has pertaining to other experiences that they have had or just bringing up something that maybe someone has just like thought they were over or buried or something like that back to like the forefront of their mind and I know you're not doing it on purpose but it's just like something that just may naturally occur plus the fact that there's certain placements that your birth chart and this person's birth chart have that could also pose some type of um like like it'll pose some type of like the way that they connect like the reaction between the two of you may not be it's not going to be difficult i just feel like it just will bring up a resistant energy i mean that's just kind of what i keep getting not a bad thing but just like a resistant type of energy okay so keep that in mind as well too i feel like the resistance is not like negative it feels very like intense and overwhelming with feelings and emotions so it's not a bad way but i just feel like for a person that has been hurt, which I feel like could very well be the case with the individual, the new person who you're dealing with, it feels like this person feels like it's scary to feel so much. So it could be like an overwhelming type of feeling um, dealing with you because because it's intense. It's 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 intense. Okay. And then it's the fact that they're just starting to get to know you. And I also feel like it could just be like someone trying to maintain a sense of control. Um, and so I just feel like it's a lot. Okay, so just so just keep that in mind. And then also it, it just feels like something about you could be, like I said, trying to fast track the connection in a manner where it kind of reminds this individual of something that they've experienced with the previous connection where maybe they moved fast and it didn't turn out well for them is what I'm picking up um so I feel like you're you're stirring up essentially like this experience in this individual and once again it is not your fault so please don't take it personal I feel like it's just an opportunity um as far as you and this person coming together and the reason why you're coming into this person's life I feel like is for this person to address this okay and for you to be compassionate and be able to help this person heal this in them okay so just a heads up since you're already aware of this and then also for others of you it may just be a sense that the way that you make this person feel 
it could be a situation where this person has never experienced someone who brought about these type of sentiments in them or they never felt or experienced such a deep intense connection with someone before and or it could be a situation where they haven't felt that way like in a really long time so that could be the case as well too like the the things that you're saying to this person the way that you're acting ultimately it really feels like this person is filling you and like you're like a wish come true but it also feels kind of like shocking for this person like that you're literally saying and doing all the things that this person has always desired in a love interest so like i said once again it's either the fact that they haven't had this ever before and it's just like is this too good to be true or it's like someone who maybe hasn't had this in a really long time so it's just kind of like essentially still new to this individual as if it hasn't happened because it, they haven't had this in a really long time and then it's all of a sudden it's like then this happens and then it's just kind of like a sense of disbelief okay so i feel like this person has runner tendencies leo so just please don't let this person get away and push you away if you are very serious about this individual i feel like just take your time with this individual and just be understanding and i'm more so letting you know like don't get offended don't take it personal because i know that leos tend to have they can get hurt easily or their pride can be hurt and i feel sometimes you know when you go out there leo sometimes y'all can put y'all hearts wear it very proudly on your sleeve so i just want you to be aware of this and know just for your own reference so you don't take it personal okay you heard me say it here don't take it personal and then um also the song that i kept channeling as well too that you all can just go listen to on your own i was getting the song turn the page by bobby v so that's pretty much all the messages i had for you all mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh i just wanted to say as well too just side note back to the cards that i initially pulled just to see who was requesting this reading i was getting aquarius energy so some of y'all might got significant placements of aquarius in your birth chart um like that skeptical energy i was getting where i said that how you going request the reading but then be skeptical at the same time mm, okay but yeah i was getting very strong aquarius energy for some of you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but besides that like i said those are all the messages i hope these messages find you all with love and if you would like to book a reading with me you can go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com be blessed, y'all.